Hello, everybody. I'm Kenneth Copeland, and this is the class today here and in Canada in Kenneth Copeland Bible College. Praise God. Amen. Now, we're talking about faith and, and the, the, law, the fundamentals of faith. Now, we were there in the fourth chapter of Romans, and this, this verse 16, no, 13, for the promise, say promise. promise. How? Blood. 15th chapter of Genesis, blood of animals. 17th chapter of Genesis, in the blood of a man, Abram, became Abraham through circumcision and brought in a very special child. Then later, a very special child was born. His name is Jesus Amen. and still is. For the promise that he should be heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if they which are the law of heirs, faith is made void, and the promise made of no effect, because the law works wrath where there is no law, there is no transgression. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end, the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him, cross-reference says, like him, whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Amen. Well, glory to God, I learned to call my body healed. Amen. I learned to call my body, you know, pain-free. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, I didn't learn that just right off. But thank God for Oral Roberts and Kenneth Hagin. Wow, hallelujah. Well, the promise to all the seed in the book of Galatians in the third chapter. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. It's written that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Now remember the seed to all the seed. Verse 26, for all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus, for as many as you have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither bond nor free. And there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you be Christ, or if you're in Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the same promise. Yeah. 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 There was a young woman that was in glory in my kitchen wanting to receive the baptism of the spirits. Oh, she wanted to receive. And she couldn't quit speaking English. Oh, I said, that's a minute. I said, the Spirit of God is all over you. She kept saying, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I said, what does hallelujah mean? <laughs> she said, I don't know. Where'd you get that? <laughs> I said, you just said it. No, I didn't. I said, you think I'd lie to you? <laughs> hallelujah. She said, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> We have said that so much, I started to say it right then, and I thought I better tell you what Halakaluka is all about. <laughs> she didn't, she had to have that moment of faith. Halakaluka, that's a good word. <laughs> Stayed with me a long time. What does it mean? It means I love Jesus. Anything I say in tongues, I don't know what it means, that's what it means. Amen. There's been times I've said to the Father, I'm yours to command. If there are things you need pray, one, one writer said, it seems God can do nothing in the earth until someone asks him. Well, Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it'll be open to you. A-S-K. So, 
It means, uh, I'm, Lord, use me. Give me utterance in the spirit. Well, you should understand, saith the Lord, that you are an instrument in my hands. And I have representative in the earth through my spirit. But I, like any spirit, it, it, the Holy Spirit, nor the devil has full range in the earth without a human in which to dwell. Amen. That's the reason demon possessed people act like their father, the devil. Yeah. And that's the reason Holy Spirit possessed people act like me. Yeah. If they know my word and walk in the fruit of the spirit, those nine fruits will create holiness. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's what I said in tongues. Now, the law of faith, the fundamentals of faith, believe it in your heart and say it with your mouth. Number two, faith will not work in an unforgiving heart. Number three, Abraham's blessing cannot be received with Thomas's faith. Number four, faith calls things that be not as though they were. Number five, faith demands corresponding action. The woman with the issue of blood, she said it, she believed it, she did it, and she told it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's corresponding action. She believed it before she ever got out of the house. She could have stayed right there and bled to death. But she didn't. She sneaked out of the house because she knew she could be stoned for being out there. And there's Jairus, leader of the synagogue. Well, this all happened there in Capernaum. So I dare say she was a member of that synagogue. And seeing him, she really took a chance. She, she didn't have any idea that he was on a mission. <laughs> so that's what happened. Now, there are fundamentals to the game of football. Vince Lombardi, I dare say one of the greatest football coaches yeah. ever lived, had a losing season. Not around here, you don't. Amen. So you want me to tell you how he started spring training? Gentlemen, this is a football. <laughs> well, how many of you in here know how to fly an airplane? All right. Fundamentals. Now, World War II. How I many of you had, you know, kids off the farm? And, uh, but here they were in, in uh, training to learn how to fly. Birds fly by instinct. And buzzards are the cleanup crew. <laughs> That's the reason they're so slow and they have to slow down and smell something nasty and go down there and clean it up. In World War II, they started out like that. Gentlemen, this is an airplane. Well, let's just see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be your instructor today. And I say, class, this is an airplane. This is a propeller. What does it do? It propels. <laughs> Notice the difference in shape. <laughs> Leading edge of the wing. Follow me now as we go around the airplane. The wing tip, navigation light. Come around here. This is the aileron. Huh? <laughs> the aileron. The aileron. The, 
I lost nearly everybody right there, <laughs> all except two people in the room. The aileron. Those are the little flappers out on the wing that make it go this way or this way. Wow. <laughs> so, now I'll come around here. This is the fuselage. This is the horizontal stabilizer. This is the elevator. You mean an airplane has an elevator in it? No, it has an elevator on it. Why is an elevator called an elevate? Because it will elevate yes. or descend. Yes. An airplane can't stay up. It has to descend. Yes. And I'll tell you how to know this. If you do this, the little houses get smaller. <laughs> That's fundamental. <laughs> you have little flappers out here. Now, aerodynamics say if this one goes down, if that happens, this one has to be up or it'll just wall around in the sky. Now I'm coming around. Now, this is the rudder. This is the vertical stabilizer. This is the rudder. Well, what does that do? It rudders. <laughs> Boats have a rudder. But you put that thing like this without the rudder to keep it up here this way, it's going to slip. So now you know how to fly an airplane. <laughs> All airplanes fly on that basic fundamental. I learned how in a little Cessna 150, little small airplane. Then I went up to a Cessna 172. It was a little larger airplane. I had better training in that. Then I went up to a Beechcraft Baron. I received my multi-engine rating in the Beechcraft Baron. Anyway, went all the way up through my instrument rating. Well, I went from a 150 Cessna to a 172 to, well, I, I flew a Beechcraft Bonanza in there right after I, uh, I started that. And then the Beechcraft Baron for a multi-engine rating and began to increase, same, same, same fundamentals. I just had to train on each one of them. So a 747 would have flown in the Garden of Eden, or even better than it would today. Yeah. Nobody knew how, nobody needed to know, but the birds did. <laughs> Physics say, the fundamental laws say, this is the wing that the relative wind that goes here must come out over here exactly together. It changes pressure systems because the top of the wing will be a little bit fatter than the bottom. But it comes out together at the same time. So then you have a low pressure system on top and a high pressure system on the bottom and it's trying to get to the low, therefore you have the law of lift. Yeah. Birds knew it all the time. <laughs> and some of them are fighter planes and some of them are bombers. <laughs> the eagle mates for life. Yes. And they, they do this dance Together, they lock their talons together and they dance in the sky. And they stay together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the fundamentals of flight, these are the fundamentals of faith. What is a law? It is predictable. When all of the elements of the law of lift are put together, then it is predictable. You know when you know that and you know what you must do. 
I was having a hard time landing. I'd either land this way or this way. I was shaving. I wasn't even saved. But I wanted to fly ever since I knew what an airplane was. And, and I was shaving there and I thought, in my mind, and I would sit down in a, in a chair and play like I was having an airplane. While I built my, a simulator. <laughs> no, one we were known back then. And it came up in my, in my mind. I said, I know how to do that. Went out there. I was ready to solo. Went all the way down through it. Wound up flying the Lockheed Jet Star, which is a four-engine jet. Praise God. Then the, the, the Cessna jets all the way up to and including the Citation 10, which at the time was the fastest civilian airplane on the planet. The rest of them had to catch up with that airplane. I flew it for 15 years. And my age, the insurance company wouldn't insure me anymore. Well, you go back to flight safety twice a year, that's very expensive on, on the ministry. They said you could do it but you have to go back twice a year. You're only in the right seat. Just talk on the radio and so forth. And uh, so I just said, no, I'm retired from the citation team. I had to go back to flying piston airplanes and I had to learn how again. They're more complicated to fly than the jet is. The jet's just faster. Yeah. A friend of mine called me when they found out that we were taking delivery of a Citation 10. He said, Copeland, I'm going to tell you this. When you put the power up on that thing, it better be pointed in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't kidding. Whew. Glory to God. 15 years enjoying that airplane. So the fundamentals. Now then, faith is a spiritual force, not mental. Turn to the Gospel of John. Six. Fifty-nine. These things said he in, in the synagogue and he taught in Capernaum. When you see Capernaum right outside of it, home. He moved there. You can put it, make it simple. He got kicked out of his own hometown. But he was already ministering in Capernaum. And so, <clears throat> when Jesus in himself knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? Why shall ye see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, but there are some of you that believe not, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who would betray him. He already knew that. But it was prophesied. Praise God. Forevermore, praise God. So now, let's go to Mark, since we, we see that now. It is, his words are spiritual force. So let's, let's go now to Mark 11. Very interesting things here. Thank you, Lord. And uh, well, I'll turn over there to, to uh, Mark 5. Look at the 15th verse. Now, this was the former madman of Gadara. He could, we could go through all of that and... Uh, <clears throat> If the Lord will allow us to, before, before this week's up, we'll go through that. Well, no, I just heard it. Yeah, we will go through this. <clears throat> and
and they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed in his right mind. Well, where did they get the clothes? <clears throat> Go back and check out Jesus' clothes. He had a, a garment woven without seam. That is very expensive. Judas had the bag. Jesus, knowing what was going to happen, he went over there specifically to do it because he's going to call this man to preach. So he must have said to Judas, go to our people where we get, where where I've bought your clothes and where I have mine. And go get me at least three suits. There's a man over here that's full of the devil, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deliver him and I'm going to call him to preach and I don't want him going home not looking good because he's skin and bones. Hallelujah. And he said, go back to your friends. That's also translated family. Wow corresponding action to faith because you believe it's going to happen. Yes. <laughs> and of course it did. And here we are out of time. Well, give the Lord a big praise and we'll be back in just a minute. Take the word of faith wherever you go with the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine. Since 1973, KCM has delivered the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine worldwide. We're reaching nearly 400,000 people in 202 countries and territories on five continents, all absolutely free. Every magazine contains faith-building articles from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and other guest authors. Read encouraging stories from people like you in testimonies of real life victory. Equip your kids with powerful tools for spiritual growth in Commander Kelly's Corner. With a variety of viewing formats available, sharing is easier than ever. Download a digital copy for your tablet or mobile device. Click on the interactive magazine option where you'll find bonus content, videos, and downloads. Sign up for your free monthly subscription or download your copy today on our KCM website. Do you ever wake up and feel like the weight of the world is on you? You know you're called to be a light for God in the darkness, but your flame has become a flicker? Feed your spirit and build your faith with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland's From Faith to Faith, a daily guide to victory. A devotion for every day of the year, each page offers scripture readings and practical word-based teachings to help you take hold of God's promises. Use it as a personal, family, or group devotional and dive deeper into the Word of God. Drawing from their own experiences, the Copelands guide you through applying God's Word to make significant changes to get on the victory side of life. Whether you're struggling with weariness, offense, relationships, finances, or addiction, From Faith to Faith will uplift your spirit and set the tone for each day to be filled with purpose and faith. Embrace wisdom and watch as you grow from faith to faith. Request your free copy of From Faith to Faith, the daily devotional by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Receive God's wisdom, energize your faith, and take hold of your covenant promises. Go to kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01-225-787-310. This free offer is good for 30 days. Postage charges may apply. Contact your regional office today. Hello, I'm Larry Warren. As a born-again believer, you have the faith of God and the spirit of truth living on the inside of you. John 14, 26 shares who the spirit of truth is to us. He is our comforter, counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and standby. He will teach us all things and remind us of everything he has told us. Jesus said the spirit of truth will bring glory to me by telling you what he's received from me. Imagine having access to God's wisdom and having revelation knowledge and understanding of the word for every situation. 
It begins by asking Jesus into your heart and receiving him as the Lord and Savior of your life. Pray this prayer with me. Lord, I confess my sins before you. I turn my life over completely. Take over and be the Lord of my life. I receive you as my Savior. I receive your Holy Spirit. I receive my new language. Thank you that I'm born again. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. You are born again and your spirit is alive unto God. You belong in the family of God and he has exceeding great and precious promises in his word for you. To help you learn more, Kenneth Copeland Ministries has some free resources to send you. It's called The Salvation Package. It includes a book called He Did It All For You by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. So read through this book and get to know Jesus, the one who loves you and gave himself for you. There are also two brochures to help you start reading your Bible and help you grow spiritually as you study the Word of God. Request your salvation package today free on kcm.org. While you're on our website, you'll find many resources and information to help you grow in faith. Brother Copeland calls kcm.org your study center because it is designed to be a place where you can research and learn God's word to help you live in victory. You can watch teaching videos, read the daily devotional, or share articles and prayers with your family and friends. Be sure to visit kcm.org every day and make God's word final authority in your life. Faith released in the Word of God and on the Word of God is so powerful. So remember it when you pray for your loved ones. Remember that and believe God, they're coming home. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, this is Kenneth Copeland and all the class here and in Canada and all that are online reminding you again that Jesus loves you. We love you. And Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. If you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland want to welcome you to the family of God. They have a gift for you called the Salvation Package to help you understand more about your new life in Christ. Email us at partners at kcm.org.uk and receive your free salvation package.